Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, Dave Madden. Today's date is Wednesday the 30th of May and the time has just gone 11.50 British summer time. This week's Chart of the Week is going to be the IBEX 35, or as we call it here on our platform, the Spain 35. Now, the Spanish market has been in the news a lot this week uh, because of the potential political uncertainty in Spain. On Friday, Friday the 1st of June, uh, Prime Minister Marino Rajoy is going to face a vote of no confidence and, and all of that political uncertainty has put tremendous pressure on Spanish stocks. And obviously, if Mr. Rajoy were to lose uh, the vote of no confidence, we could be looking at a snap general election, which would also add to potential further political uncertainty in Spain. So if you take a look at the chart and we take a look at over the last, uh, over the last year or so, over the last couple of years, year and a half, we can see that the, the, the Spanish market has been a pretty obvious downward trend since May of last year. So for the last year or so, the Spanish 35, uh, the Spain 35 has been in a pretty obvious downward trend. And if you zoom in here, we can see just, just how aggressive the sell-off has been in recent weeks in relation to the political uncertainty that's going on in Spain. While the market was driving lower here, hitting multi-week lows, we can see on the MACD indicator, the MACD histogram, there's a steady increase in negative momentum. So as the market was moving lower, this was being confirmed by the steady increase in negative momentum. So the momentum is clearly with sellers, clearly with the bulls. If you do manage to push lower from here, we could be looking at targeting 9,327, which is the March lows. And if you go below that, there really, there really isn't much in, 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 in terms of consolidation areas. So we could be looking at targeting 9,200 or potentially 9,000 the figure itself. Moves to the upside may actually uh, run, run into potentially run into, into resistance. Uh, and if you look at the 9,800 mark, we can see on a number of occasions um, in, in March and April that, that level did see uh, act as both support and resistance on a, on a few occasions. So potentially moves to the upside may run to resistance at the 9,800 mark. And if we go beyond that, we can look at running resistance at this yellow line here, at the 100-day moving average, which comes into play at 9,000. 947. Notice how the 100 day moving average acted as support on a couple of occasions um, in, in recent weeks and a previous actually acted as resistance last month. And if you go beyond the 100 day moving average, the next big level to watch out for will of course be the 200 day moving average, the red, this red line here, which comes to play at uh, just, just, just south of 10,100. And if you go beyond, if you take out the, the 200 day moving average, that could suggest that the recent negative move has come to an end. And if we go beyond that, traders will be looking towards the, the, the May high of 10,284. And then moves beyond that, we'll be looking towards 10,500. And then, and then look at retesting the 2018 high of 10,659. Well, that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.